everyone, it's Elaine, and I am back with my monthly goals. These will be the goals and the items that I did in June. So let's get started, and as we need to do, we need to do our little business first, and that is to check out the other collab collabers, excuse me, down below. There's give or take 20 of us. I think we've had a couple more people drop out, but that doesn't mean that you can't join us. For me, it does. It helps keep me on track. And I know personally, when I get something done, I'm like, oh, I can put that in my goals. I finished that or, you know, I started working on this and using what I have. So jump in there and join us. Um, you can too use that hashtag, Crafty Goals with Amalia. And if you want to follow me, you do hashtag Crafty Goals with Elaine. So come on, join us. We'd love to have you. Like I said, it does help keep me focused. Now, here are the goals that I established at the beginning of the year. And last month, we kind of had an opportunity to renew or revive or kick out any kind of goal that we didn't want or we wanted to refresh. I stayed with mine. Mine, I really thought about them at the beginning of the year and things that I wanted to accomplish. So, I'm staying with mine. The key word for this month is relax. Now, I have to tell you a little funny story. I pester Amalia. Every month, I always ask, what's the key word? What's the key word? And I tell you one reason why is that most of the time, I have to do my video a little early. We post our videos on Saturdays at 3 p.m. Well, I very much live in the middle of nowhere. My upload of my video could take anywhere up to five to six hours. No guarantee. So for me, I do my video and then I go to work and I upload it at work. It takes about five minutes. So it's such a difference. So I'm always pestering her the week before, that weekend before, for the keyword. So when she came this time and said the keyword was relax, I thought she was kind of speaking to me directly, like, relax, Elaine, it'll be okay. I'm joking, I doubt Amalia really intended that, but that is what went through my mind. So the key word this month is relax. Do you relax on your goals? I don't really think so. You can relax while accomplishing your goals to know that you've done it. You've you know, maybe used up something or used what you had or gotten rid of something old by using it up. I'm not, not much on throwing things away, so for me, I like using things up and, I don't know, getting messy and focusing on what you are doing and not thinking about the outside world is the best way for me to relax. Playing with my crafts and everything is great. So, now, let's get to our goals. I've gone ahead and put a line through the Art Studio She Shed. It is finished. I've had two groups come over so far of ladies that I know. So, I've been excited about that. And I plan on doing some more. Timely complete project started. I'm not going to tell you that I timely complete them. But, I am more focused these days since everything really has a place. And the best part is I can walk up to that place and get what I need. I don't have to move this cart to get to the bin behind it and then dig in the drawer. Yeah, I have to dig in the drawer. But I don't have to move anything to get to it. And that has made such a world of difference to me. Yep, there's a few things that I still kind of need to get organized so that I can walk right up to the little basket. I'm not going through ten baskets. But I'll work on that. But time the complete project started, I'm working on them. I'm going to give myself a check. They're not getting pushed aside and buried. I can pretty much now see every basket or every drink flat that I have a project in. So I know what it is that I'm working on. Continue to use what I have. Yep, I've started a little golden book. Never done one before. And... It's kind of a project that me and my friend Kathy are working on together. 
when we go to the retreat in August, we were going to work with Lori from Grammy's Keepsake, and she's going to kind of help us do the spines of them. Just kind of a little girly thing. I don't, I think we could probably do it, but it was nice to have Lori there to help us. So anyhow, that golden book, I'm trying to get all my pages done. Every page, I have used what I have. I haven't bought anything for it, and the best part is, most of the things have come out of my scrap pile. So I'm excited about that. So yep, I have used what I have. Um, trying to think of what other projects I've done. Well, I have um, worked on a couple ATCs for some swaps. And of course, I've used what I've had on that. And wait till you see those. I'll be doing upcoming videos. And then, I don't know, um, I guess the BB Craft, I did a review and a reveal on those. Now, those were new items, but I personally didn't pay for them. They were sent to me, and I played with them. So, yeah, I've used what I've had. Staying organized, kind of, sort of. I now work on what I'm doing, and before I walk out of here in the evening or after all my friends have left, I put everything back. So during the process, not so much am I staying organized. I kind of don't worry about putting it back. I leave it out in case I need it again. Um, but yeah, I, I've been staying organized. Two live videos this year. Um, when I finish recording this video, I'm going to hop on with my friend Gail. You know her. She's in this collab as well, Gail Tudhill. And we are going to give it a shot. We're just going to do a test. Neither one of us have wanted to do them, but we both have it on our goals. So I'm going to connect with her, and we're going to see if the process is fairly easy for us that we can jump on and do it periodically. So stay tuned for that one. All right, I'm going to just circle that one because we're getting ready to get there. I have been doing my weekly YouTube video. That has been staying current. I comment as much as I possibly can. I try to comment on everybody, but the people that I personally know and are coming in, um, many times I'll just give them a heart because I'm going to talk to them on the phone or through chat or something anyway. So that one I'm going to give myself a check mark. The monthly collab video, yep, I stayed on track. I'm proud of myself. I'm staying focused and 3 o'clock every first Saturday of the month. Here we go. Unannounced giveaways. I have done two, and the third one is very near. So, yep, better with media. I'm getting there. I um, have changed a few things, and I've got some other stuff rolling. I'm not going to get into all the gist of that, but just believe me when I tell you that I have done it. <laughs> um, quarterly ATC, I did mention to you that um, I have um, I've done a... a uh, ATC swap that is for um, fabric and words and then I also signed up for two big ones one where you have to do 31 cards for the month of October for Halloween and then I also did the advent swap which is 25 cards for December leading up to Christmas so I am fulfilling the, that obligation um, three retreats done one in January I am next month um, going to do another one. So I have one in July and one in August. And then I also have um, one right now of all goes well for October. So I will be exceeding my going out retreats. And then I've done my two here and I'll do more. So that is done. As far as um, two new YouTubers that I would like to suggest to you. And they are this month, hope I say that word right, out of Reb's head. Um, she does things with journal journal books and um, paper crafts. And then Naomi, she shed. And she's the same way. She does um, reveals and um, hauls and lots of paper crafts. The thing with the she shed kind of made me giggle because, of course, how hard I've worked on getting mine together. So please, if you haven't... Um, check them out please do and go and subscribe to them and give them some thumbs up and some loving and I would appreciate it I'm going to let them know that you're coming and then of course my last goal on here is to watch all the collabers 
Now, I will say I usually give myself one week to do it. And when I watch each collaborator, I also make a comment to them. And I give them a thumbs up. Um, if we cannot support each other, then we don't even really need to be doing this. So I, I'm a firm believer on if you're going to be part of a club, be part of the team and play with everybody and do like you would want to be treated. So that is basically my goals. And again, there's my list of uh, collabs. And when I watch them, I color it all in so that I keep track. And I guess one other thing real quick I want to show you before I sign off. I've done my first batch of staining paper um, using lacy stuff. Um, some are better than others, but I'm tickled with them. And they will be going into a journal coming soon near you. Hard har. Then anyway, that's my collab um, video for this month. And uh, I guess. The only thing that um, I would have to say is I have become an admin for the Paper Outpost YouTube channel, I mean, um, Facebook group, and it, the, uh, that group jumps. If you haven't been involved in it, come on back and, and join in on that. They show you all kinds of goodies, and there are a lot of people from all over the world that show you what they make and how they do it. Um, I told you about the BB Craft um, review that I did, working on the little golden book. I would like to name my She Shed something other than She Shed. So if you come up with a name, please shoot it down below. I, I, I want to call it something else. I'm going to tell you a little funny story. When I was growing up, well, I shouldn't really say growing up. Uh, anyway, we used to go across the bridge and we would visit some of the establishments over there just to dance and everything and yeah we might have had a little drink illegally but anyhow there were two places there one was called my place and one was called the other place and it was kind of fun saying oh I'm going to my place or I'm going over to the other place so that's kind of the thinking that I am for the name of my she shed so like I said if you think of something let me know and um, the very last thing that I'm going to do here before I close is I am going to do a drawing. I said that I wanted to do some and I've done two and I'm going to take this time now to do a third one. So let's see how this works. I'm not always the best at this. Like I said, I'm not always the best at this. Is it going to play with me? Okay, let's see if it works now. I think the video that I used is when I finished my she shed. And let me see if I can toggle back and forth here and show you. So that's the one. This thing is done. Um, Alright, so. Did I just mess up again? Maybe I shouldn't have done that, huh? Alright, so we've got our 31 unique comments. I'm going to hit start. Why is this not working for me? Here we go. Ay, ay, ay. And the winner is Happy Diane. The Happy Diane. So Happy Diane, if you can come and reach out to me and um, send me a private message, give me your address, and I will be glad to shoot something out to you from some of my stash. I do appreciate it, and I am so sorry that this random picker was ornery with me today. Well, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do, and if you have, I appreciate it. And don't forget to give me and all the other collaborators a thumbs up. Appreciate you. Bye.